Welcome back to the VR League Onward Invitational, brought to you by Intel. It's winner's bracket final time. It's only match three of our amazing weekend of this. We're doing all this again uh, tomorrow, so make sure you join us for that. It's at 3 p.m. live in the UK, 4 p.m. Central European time and other times in other places. Um, hey, yeah, we're going to have fun uh, throughout tomorrow. If these games are anything to go by, a crunch match there on quarantine. Uh, we go to Suburbia next, a map that we've seen both of these teams win on only today. Mm. Both convincingly as well. Yes, yes, that. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Raider. Um, I don't know what to make of this next one, though. We'll get into it very, very soon. Uh, you have a tiny amount of time left if you want to enter our draw to win an Oculus Rift with the two sensors and the two touch controllers. Uh, that is all a uh, brilliant package. That's what our players are using here in the Onward Invitational. And you can win one of all of those if you donate at least five US dollars by going to esl.im slash donate. Do that now, please, if you haven't already and you'd like a chance to win our Oculus Rift because we will be drawing that very soon. All at esl.im slash donate. Do you see this going to a third map still? We all want it to. We all said we did, but... I mean, obviously... There's now a psychological question to this of... You've had a short break. Turn up. Mm. I, I mean, yeah, it's difficult to tell, isn't it? I think Mob Squad have the chops to do it to take out to yeah, take yeah. them out out two zero. I don't know. I think Global Chem are going to really, really push hard though because of you know how un unfortunately snatching of map one was from them. Um, so He's got his pen. He wants to say something. Raphael is back up there. The guy who did the team kill is still on. They haven't placed him out. They haven't mm -hmm. replaced him. They didn't put Mixologist back in. I mean, you wouldn't I'd sub him out. If you subbed him out after that, yeah, but maybe that would be, a, that would be an even bigger Psychologically, bug. maybe he wouldn't want to come back. The well, that's true. My yeah. point is that he's back. Yeah, okay. he's okay. back. They are, they are still in this. They still want it. They still believe they can do it. I believe they can do it. Push it to third game. I still think Mob Squad are going to take it overall, mm -hmm. but I think Global Chem can take them on Suburbia. Um, Global Chem is still the team. You know, they're the favorites. Yeah. Um, and they had that upset. They were bringing it back. Let's not forget. Yeah. It was an unfortunate incident that happened, but they were bringing it back. That yes, quarantine that true, was yeah. theirs. I know. think. I think that's, def that's definitely a thing to talk about as well. You know, like Global Chem were on the absolute verge of winning when they were behind the entire time. So if they can get ahead early, who knows what? Who knows what's yeah. going to happen? But um, I still think Mob Squad have shown that they are currently in the zone right now yeah. that they need to be in to get this victory. I think. I think. Mob Squad can win this thing. I know I was saying I predicted Globo Chem w would. That was my choice in it. Um, this has changed things somewhat, though. I still hope it goes to a third map, uh, just because I want to see more of a great game between two brilliant teams. But I am moving towards your side of the Mob Squad over Globo Chem uh, decision. Welcome. Outcome. Oh, thank you. Welcome. It's nice to be here. <laughs> Uh, Welcome to the truth. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it could be. But you, even if Global Chem, I mean, obviously, Global Chem will have to win this map to take it to a third. Even if Global Chem do win this map, I'm liking what I see of Mob Squad. Yep. And even if Global Chem win this map and therefore have turned, you know, that, that accident at the end of the last map around into, oh, well, we've buried that because we've come out and taken Mob Squad. Mm. I, I don't think that's enough of a momentum build to push on and win this thing because up against them, it's still a really good Mob Squad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and on Suburbia, it's a small map. Anything can happen. Uh, we saw SMC put up a good fight. Beginners put up a good fight. Um, I, th the problem with something like Suburbia, because it's quite a small map, is you just don't know which way it's going to go. And I know yeah. that's a bit of a cop out, mm -hmm. but there's no. It's it's such a fluid map that it's hard to have static tactics that work again and again and again. And they've seen each other play this map today. So they've made those notes about each other today. It's mm. not like Quarantine where we didn't see Mob Squad, so they're an unknown. In this one, both teams have seen the other one perform today on this map. Yeah. I'm just kind of currently looking at that, the team we have here from Mob Squad as well. We were talking about obviously how Raphael was put, put back in from Mixologist for this second map. I believe we saw Plots. Did we see Plots in that previous game? Because yeah, I've seen, yeah. that, seen that Nolamite is back on stage. We've got Arsemper, um, Arsenic, Nolamite, Squigookan. Um, and then I think Poopachu's in, so I don't think oh, Plots really? is currently in this match right oh. now. I think that, that, that okay. that's Poopachu at least. No, I think you're right. I don't um, see Plots down there, which is surprising considering Plots... Um Performance. Yeah, so that, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's been very, very. I think maybe Nolamite just has something that they want to bring to the table uh, at, at this point. Do you know what? They have specialities. I think I yeah. wouldn't be surprised if it goes to uh, Cargo that we see Plots back on the team. Okay. Uh, but good, good. Uh, yeah, these might be, you know, things they decided before they ever got here. It probably isn't based on the last map's performance. So no. I say he played so well. Um, this could well just be a case where this is our team who play on Suburbia. Let's find out. 
Let's find out. Let's go back over to Pansy and Nightfire for the second map between Globochem and Mob Squad. And will we get to that third? Well, I don't know, but we will get to Suburbia now. Find out. <laughs> Thank you indeed, and I've never been so excited to go back to the suburbs. But this is going to be <laughs> an incredibly good fun game, I can imagine. I, d I don't know where I sit in this. If you're Globochem, are you fired up or are you disheartened? If you're Mob Squad, you must have thought that game was over. You must have in your heads think, you know, all right, it's a 2v1. Surely this, you know, this is done. I think and then <coughs> Mob Squad's probably pretty unrattled. Uh, they were they were down three to two, but I don't know if they really ever expected they were almost about to lose the map right there. Yeah. You know, so they can still ride the momentum of playing well on quarantine, getting that map dub. Uh, maybe they didn't get it the way they wanted to, but they got it. And Ooh, wait, what did I just see behind me? Did I just see a shield? Mm, very well sure. could be. First round. Yeah, I would expect that. We'll have to see if anyone's running oh. a shield here. Double check in a bit. I think I keep catching a glimpse of it for the uh, Globochem side. And it's there very early getting towards that, oh, I guess, not really a wall. Nice hedgerow. And we'll see what they have in mind. Yeah, and he's not just admiring those really nice looking bushes. He's looking through them. And there's the shield we were talking about. And Raph is the man I would expect to be using it. He's very good at flicking that shield down, getting a shot. And you actually heard him pull the pin out of a nade. So he's ready to chuck a grenade right over towards Poopachu right on that corner uh, once his team wants to move. See that arm in action, underhand throw comes in. You see it going to place and that's been ticked. So Poopachu shouldn't have too much time to get away from this. Tucks himself around the corner, he does survive. Really close and a responsive grenade from Nolamite. Pretty close to Raph, but I don't think it's gonna secure anything. And actually the shield does protect from frag grenades. So uh, you can kind of see Thunder bunching up close to Raph there to make sure that oh. if it lands, he wouldn't get killed either. So Nolamite looks like he's running at least to previous game standards like an AK was it 74U or 47U? Yeah, he's it's running... It's actually like uh, the SMG, right? So the fire rate's higher, but maybe a little lower on the damage scale, but not by much. Yeah, he's in on the specialist uh, role there. That's the only way you can get that gun. Like we were talking about earlier, this rifleman specialist and so forth. And now Raph's pushing Poopachu here. Hey, here, here. A flash from Poop, not going to land on Raph, and Raph's now in a safe position. As long as you don't drop that <laughs> shield, gets yeah. it back up. And this is a lot of pressure. Whoa! Of what... Nolamite is, he's, he's a madman, look at him, he's just going for this. I, Thunder I heard the it. footsteps. Really fortunate trade right there. If that oh. didn't, if Thunder doesn't get that pick right there, Raph's down and that's their whole east side crumbled. Well, Global Chem have now lost out on two here. There, there was another player picked up at some point, I'm not sure when that exactly was, but we are seeing a 3v4 now. Yeah, that's uh... I can't play very well right now. It's not what you want, but we have that Volk advantage coming into play here. Definitely Globochem kind of feeling out this first round. This is how they play. They play a little bit slow. They don't really come out with a cohesive strategy, I feel like, at the start of rounds. Might uh, end up biting them here. Poopachu getting picked. Trading, actually, from Toast. Now Raph gets shot in the back. Some really hard flanks from Mob Squad. I can't believe they're getting behind these guys. Yeah, Globochem are in real trouble. They've got one player standing. A revive possible, but Raph, I mean, he's got a shield and a pistol for now. I, did he just pick up a gun, though? No, I think, I he think has. He, yes, he did, you're right. I was suspecting he was maybe going in for a knife kill. It's a way to secure the kill without making any noise, giving away your position. But you're right, he went to pick up that rifle and get toast up. Very nice. Calling out the window there. Not surprising, top left, correct call. Raph, oh, he's going for that drop shot. We were discussing that. Yep. Drop down the shield, take the shot, but his teammate's been picked up. It is a 3v1, and it looks like they are not slowing down. Arsenic's moving in. Raph's in trouble. Back to the wall sort of stuff. Should I say back he to the He is blocking head bullets from two people right now. <laughs> Arsenic hitting him from that west side, and then the upper story also shooting at him. <laughs> no options there. Nice attempt from him. The shield play coming out, but yeah, just not, uh, just not quite enough to cover his entire body. The shield not big yeah. enough there. And we need to talk about the new man on the stage to my eyes is Nolamite. This guy just went wild. Yeah, he, uh, that's something maybe that they had planned. They want they wanted to keep a, a guy, a reserve in their back pocket because like we were seeing with uh, uh, the member from uh, earlier today playing against Global Chem with that four kill, uh, four man kill in the back. Yep. They almost don't adjust well to players they're not familiar with. And this, that could be the set piece here in the back of their minds. I mean, you can't plan to bring an extra player just for that. 
But if they've watched their, you know, their replays before, if you know the team inside out, you can definitely keep that in mind. And it just gets solidified when you see the early game where it's like, okay, they've been exploited on this. Yeah. We can do the same thing. Yeah, it's interesting to see a kink in Glowochem's chain. Usually they don't really show their weaknesses. It's hard to identify. How can I get around this team? But playing maybe sporadically, playing typically, uh, it's so hard because then when you start to do that, you're risking it getting picked. People hold such tight angles in this yep. game. Uh, it's really a it's really a aggressive toss up if you do something like that. So it's surprising to see coming out of Nolamite. Yeah, risk reward factor, right? You got to balance it. Is it is it worth it? And if you get it, if you get that, if they got the clean kill on that, that'd have been huge. Yeah. But, you know, it was traded, but obviously they they sit pretty well in the end, regardless. And Global Camp need to get themselves again back in that right mindset. Let's see what the call is. Where has been made already? <coughs> <laughs> Pretty oh, quiet. Said, yeah, there, there's not much to be said, it seems. Comms are open right now. Yeah. They just know what they want. They That's have it. This. It's already been said. No worries. <sighs> Normally very talkative. We heard that in the last map. Incredibly talkative. So surprising. Maybe you get a little down about a couple of things. Maybe that's in the back of their heads. But for now, all we know is we are into the game. One round sits with Mob Squad. Yeah, it's be curious to see if they uh, <laughs> start chatting it up after a potential win. But... Using that 30 second timer again inside the tent, spending, uh, setting up a plan, maybe not really needing to communicate where we're going to go. Uh, saving some calm time. Not a lot. We saw him before being aggressive. Different switch up on weapon now. Looking for maybe something else. Maybe this that's just like their, their wild card they'll throw when they feel it's applicable on the right side of things. So that could be something we'll look at. See how well he plays here. More of a default position if you want to look at it that way. Looks like he still wants to be trying to work his way a little further forward than the others, for now at least. Yeah, and uh, you'll see, you'll notice that the gun types uh, are specific to the team. So Mob Squad have a specific set of guns if you're on Assault. Global Chem uh, have a specific set of guns if you're on uh, Defense. And if you can pick up an enemy gun, you can kind of play into that. You can play into the sound effects and kind of flank behind other uh, players. But... Nolamite, he can be heard right now. He's moving a little too fast, so Otto and Thunder should have some sort of idea that he's here. But they're not going to act on it. This is, this is how you slow play this map. You take your time, you look for a pick through the shrubs, you don't do anything too aggressive, you don't push any corners, you keep that line of sight. You're not going to get all this for free, though. You can tell there's a player there waiting to peek up. If they get contact, he's dead. Seeing Mob Squad work their way forward, though. There's men behind him, but he's a little isolated from the others. You're going to see a bit of a flank coming out, or at least pressure towards the eastern side building here. Yeah, the smoke's coming out from uh, Mob Squad here. I wonder if they're going to make a push this early. I would think maybe they want to run the clock a little bit, kind of wear out Globo Chem, make him become impatient, and then try and do something crazy. Uh, this is going to be a tough cross for them because they're not clearing that central building, and until they do, they're not going to be able to cross over to the objective. You can cover the, you can cover your objective pretty well from that second story, uh, and it's going to be a real tough challenge. I mean, there's, I think, four guys over in that middle building right now holding it for Global Chem. They do not want to give up that position. Uh -uh. No, that is high on the priority list of things they want to keep control of. Sam Pup. Hearing comms. He knows that they're going to be close by Looking for something through the shrubs again. This is such a common tactic. Another smoke coming out. And these, those are all very practice smokes, so that's something that you get only with really doing it consistently. Actually, another... We're into a 4v4 situation. Yeah, we lost out on the new man uh, not like earlier on. I think he mm -hmm. got the kind of trade coming through, so... Did do well to at least do that, but four players in this one building. You said a great work from Semper though to get the kill on the peeker's angle. But the forward pre-fire comes in, but there's Thunder Pilot, puts his foot down, not gonna let him step any further forward. Turning it into a 2v3 now, actually. Some shots coming out from Squigook and grabbing himself another in the second story. Really nice job. They're gonna push in from that bottom floor, and if actually Squig can cross over to the tank, he might be able to get inside objective building. They have nobody inside objective building. We might see a potential defuse here if things don't go the way that uh, <laughs> Global Cam are hoping. Well, this could be interesting. They are very isolated away from, <laughs> away from where they need to be. Yeah, and if you see there on the very far south where that X is, that's yep. a very key position to hold, and now that it's gone, you can cross that south street, get behind the building and cap with nobody knowing from the central building. 
So I'm wondering if we see that happening. You can deny this. We were discussing that. Yeah. Now, I'm wondering if Pants could be that player. He's obviously holding the angle up here. Any of these two remaining players do consider this. Your head's you know, in the heat of the moment. You may not consider that. But they're going to have to keep that in mind now. Alternatively, alternatively to denying it, you can kind of throw yourself in front of some bullets. Yeah. Hope the enemy team shoots you. One round's better than two against you. Right. We'll see what their options are, what they do about this one. Got Arsenic here holding as <laughs> still as he can. The bait on this one. Pants gets a little caught out Ooh. by that. A couple of shots come back in. And he flies down, but wow. Arsenic's there. Really nice rotation. It's a one-man defense up in that building. They still haven't crossed. I think they're just going to go for the secure kill here. Nice round from Mob Squad. A, a Marsoc victory against Global Chem on Suburbia. Mob Squad coming out very yeah. strong. Global Chem on the back foot again. We're going to see if this they can is, run it back. This is pressure now. This, yeah. this is this is the worrying moment if you're if you're Global Chem. This is where it gets like in your head a little bit because. <laughs> In theory, you're kind of meant to go 1-1 one, one to a degree. If you're two evenly skilled teams, you expect a 1-1. One, one. Right. You expect that kind of like, oh, we, we, we both pick up the side we're intended to, and then, then things get interesting. Yeah. Then maybe I can tear ahead, or we, you know, we fall behind. Being down like this gets in your head. You consider last map. That's going to be in the back of their heads. Uh. You're considering they weren't even talking at the start of a round. Last time you look on that first map, communicating the whole time. Maybe they got the earlier plan said and done. Take from it what you will. But the idea that maybe there's a little bit of frustration in the camp there could be a factor. Probably frustrating just to be losing out like this, especially yeah. with the aggression coming out from some of these players in the back of your mind. You're getting riled up by this. Yeah. And uh, it could get real interesting. We could see rematches on top of rematches, depending oh how God, all this yeah. bracket shakes out. You could see Global Chem and Beginners go up again, Mob Squad and Beginners go up again. All sorts of rematches within this tournament itself could occur here. Uh, I would love to see it. I know these guys obviously are paying it very close attention to every spot you're holding. And you can learn things. If you, mm -hmm. you can, uh, you can, and you can act on that the next round. If you see something, oh, that's a really good spot he was holding. I'm going to go to that exact same spot and hold that same angle. It works a lot of the times. That's Ooh. unexpected. We are seeing the uh, doodles coming out. Yeah. You can see it there on the bottom of the screen. Different colored yeah. pens as well down there. So you can kind of identify this is me. I'm green. You're blue. Yeah. Uh, there's a secret pen as well. There's a secret pen? Yes, it's very fancy. I believe it sparkles. Uh, <laughs> uh, just been told, statistically, Arsenic is currently sitting at 5-0 to zero so far. Wow. He's having a game. Yeah, he's playing very well. He's got to be... I'm surprised that he's doing so well on this map. <laughs> it's, it doesn't seem like he would play to his <laughs> strengths, right? But here it's he just, is. I, it, there's a reason that a lot of people think he's the number one player in the, in the league, and it's the, the diversity, too. He yeah. can he can put on a twelve times, get a pick from halfway from across the map, and then get right in your face with the hollow. And he's in lovely burgundy pants. Yeah, not not short. Yeah, hey, maybe that's the secret. Oh, uh, hey, there we go. We're working it out. We are working <laughs> it out. No, I, I kid. But this guy clearly has some real talent here, and he's he's doing incredibly well this game. He's showing some. Huge moments for his side and and putting up numbers that are keeping them very much larger and in charge. So I'm wondering how well he can go. Going forward, it does seem as though we're almost ready to get into game here and hear the comms, hopefully, at the start of the round here. I think we were a little late Yeah, on just that a touch. One. Missed out the uh, calls on that side. But regardless, we are sitting at 2-0. to zero. Mob Squad in the lead quite comfortably for now. That can change, but if this goes their way, I mean, that's when your mind goes to the worst place if you're Globocam. Globocam has shown that they can run any, they can they can come back from a yep, deficit. Yep. Uh, Not all the way, but. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. Uh, <laughs> they uh, they definitely need this one. If Mobs, uh, although they will, if they lose this, they do go on to the Volk defensive. They have that bit of an advantage, but Mob Squad are playing so well. I don't know if you get an advantage anywhere against these guys. No, they are looking really solid at the moment, um, going through this. Who's you holding the back lines? And, and we saw in the last side of things, um, one player sitting back here for, I think it was Globochem, when they were on the defending side. You can see two being put down to this position. A little bit of a different approach, not too different. It doesn't vary by masses, but you know the difference one player can make is pretty imperative. Yeah, and this objective can get a little hairy too. It being so close to that tank, it offers you a lot of different options to cap around the tank, behind the tank, get out of LOS from a lot of different defensive positions. So if you can get the right picks that you need, a cap's very possible here. Global Chem, I don't know, we'll see. They could run this back and make it 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> Don't 
toast again looking through the shrubs. I mean. If it gives you an angle, yeah. you blame them. Yeah. You've got to take everything you can at this point. It's so hard to see through those if you're holding from the distance, yeah, too. So. Thank and uh, Ant's looking like he wants to get a little aggressive here as well. I think he switched up to what looks like... I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I think that's the uh, one of the newer SMGs. I yeah, guess it looks almost mirrors. like a weird MP5, but whatever it is, let's see if he actually gets aggressive with it. I'm curious to see if he pushes on it. Yeah. I'm not sure if he has to, but... He's playing so fast here. Nolamite and our Semper have to know he's here. They hear him trouncing around behind the house. He's just going to charge gone. right in. All right, Pants, this is brave. He's got his big boy pants on, and he's looking for the fight. Semper's holding on the outside porch. He could be the one to kind of <laughs> swing around on it. But for now, Panzer's just kind of testing the waters. He's being very brave about this, though. Yeah, no one's going to see Semper here. It's a very nice spot. I think he was holding this uh, last round, too. So maybe they're expecting it here. But uh, you can't get a shot on him unless he peeks you. Three inside this building now for Global Chem. Mob Squad have to be getting very nervous. Semper getting one, auto peeking out, can't shoot through the wood, gets him, the Nolamite coming down, looking for auto, comes behind him, and he doesn't what? see him, he goes out the backside. Oh side. my god, Nolamite, this guy just runs. He's got some legs on him. It's a 3v2, and he is in a position no one's going to expect. This is massive, he can go on such a long flank here and get pressure where they just do not believe it's going to be. Thunder could get caught out by this. I'm wondering if the steps are going to be heard or if he's even thinking it's a possibility. He's surely going to be wondering now. Oh, look at this. Nolamite. This guy is just going wild. This is such good play from him. Getting on the back lines. He is going to be now put it to the test is Toast. A 1v1. Toast has arsenic. If he pushes objective, he's expecting oh, Nolamite. Nolamite. Look, he's not expecting this. Nolamite. No. Oh, the corner of the trade comes in, but it's Globo Cam. Globo Cam getting the Marsoc dub. Huge. Absolutely huge trade right there. They 100% needed that. Now they go into Volk. They have that Volk advantage. They have that defensive uh, safety. They can run this back 2-2, even it out, and be right back in <laughs> this game. <sighs> if you're not on that as well, like, that's the time you don't want to trade, ever. It's like, <laughs> please, come on. He had it. He had him what dead to rights. What a play from this guy. Like, there was, what, I think three players alive on the other side at that point. He rushes out of the house that literally had two, three players pressuring it. Runs out somehow, does not get spotted, gets around the back lines, catches someone out, and then carries on. This is why they subbed him in for this map. Yeah. 100%. He Absolutely. is a wild card on this map. He likes to get real aggressive, mm -hmm. push up into your face. And honestly, on Suburbia, it's a map that you can get behind people. There's a lot We've of... We've seen that. There's yeah. four alleyways that you can move around in and, and flank through. So I, wasn't, I thought that was almost a misplay coming out of the start, going out the backside there. Yeah. Missing uh, Otto in the front. Otto could have pushed forward hard and cap, mm. but yeah, Nolamite playing very well right now. Yeah, here we go. You can see discussions going down as to what the plan is. Yeah, it looks like they're focusing on the west side a little bit. At least that's yeah. where I see all the color. And the objective is going to be mirrored, so it's going to be that tank objective, mm -hmm. one that is capable. Yep. Let's see what else they can come up with here. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I mean, if you're Global Chem, a round's a round. Let's be honest. That's what you need. Yeah. There's no two ways to put it. Yeah. But if you could pick how you win a round, trading out and winning it off that is probably not the way. You'd want that clean win. You'd want to be feeling secure in it. There was some, not questionable plays, but there was some very aggressive plays coming out that felt like that kind of like, I just need to get something done. I need to get this going. We need yeah. something going in our favor. Um, and it did work in the end. Uh, they did win the round, but it's, it's it's a scrappy way of doing it. Yeah, and actually not working for Nolamite there. Uh, trying to play fast didn't work in his favor. So mm -hmm. it's, 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 it is it's it's it is a trade-off. Yep. If I'm going to be putting myself into a position where I can get shot from all sorts of angles, or I can slip through and get behind the cracks. So risky. Well. Uh, I see an admin on the stage. I'm worried. Me too. Admin. I've been told we're good. He just he just wants to be on stage. He's trying to block the tracking. <laughs> He's messing with him. There we go. Should be all fine to go. See the players securing weaponry, getting themselves ready. Taking a second before we get back into this. There's Pants, not using his mount. Yeah, quite the character already. <laughs> it does seem as though the teams are prepared.
It's kind of funny, I don't think they've realized that the competitive lobby's mirror spawns yet. Or at least maybe one of the team has. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, it's tank. And they're like, is it? Is it tank? All right. And uh, we'll see what they can do, Mob Squad. This is kind of back into their hands. They're, they've shown some huge talent so far. Global can finally get, a, I guess, a step on the ladder. We'll see if they can keep it going. Yeah. Putting up a similar defense, too, inside that middle building. Mm -hmm. Uh, and keeping two back behind your uh, your main objective, your uh, main objective, because you do not want somebody to get behind that tank and cap on you. You have to be always watching for that. Very much. You have just tuned in. This is the winner bracket finals. So these two teams won their first initial games. They get put to this position. So this is them. These are the you know the real deal. They've been the ones putting up a huge performance so far. And we might be again seeing that uh, tablet down. I'm not sure if it's going to stay that way. If this is the petrol position, pants. Only a very fine angle. You can see they, they work with the most minute of angles here. Yeah. I really like seeing the tablet getting used in the way it is. It's really smart if you're holding an angle real tight. Might as well have it out. Might yeah. as well have it in front of you. Not going to do any harm. You're not going to go anywhere. Pants is going to hold that angle until he hears someone peek. One dead Gets left. himself a nice pick. That's huge from off squad. Uh, sorry. Global count. <laughs> Yikes, here and into Pants comms. Almost dropped a grenade right on top of his body. <laughs> uh, panicking there and navigating out of the way just in time. <laughs> that was excellent. Uh, he didn't get the first kill, so we'll let him off. It's fine. It's, uh, it's how it works. If you get a kill, you can you can push the boundary. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It is a 5v4, though, and Mob Squad now lacking one of the players that could have really made a difference. But good angle coming out from Pants. It looks like he does really want to try and, you know, counterbalance their way forward. He wants to be that player and he's, he's done nicely here. But now Mob Squad can make their move. They have four players standing. And on the attack, you can normally outweigh numbers of players. Obviously, you're going towards a side or a side. There's going to be maybe one, two players. You can then hit with four. It's it's very, very tricky. Even on the attacking side, if you have lesser numbers, you can normally make it work. But these angles... Look at this from Pounce. He's tucked all the way down. Arsenic. Oh, Moving in. I'm not sure if the call's been heard. He might have heard him crouch. Um, and if Arsenic stands up and moves too fast, Pants will hear that. That could be a swing, yeah. But I think Pants is going to hold that angle. He's going to make sure nobody comes along that west side and just sit there. It could actually not end up working out for him if Arsenic can find an open lane. <laughs> That's the worrying part, isn't it? In the back of your mind, there's always that. You can't cover everything. It's never po You can't cover it all, but wait. Wait. No, uh, there's not a mic. Um, hello? Wow. That Nolamite. was great. <laughs> On objective, Toast was crouched and he did not expect. If he had gone prone, I maybe. don't know if they would have seen him. Yeah, I, I maybe consider there could be something there. But one player has actually dropped out from Globo Chem as well. I think that might be Pansy. It looks yeah. like he's kind of, you know, shaking it off. Maybe he got caught out by Arsenic. Bear in mind, he was one of the players very close by. So a three v four is more than possible again for Mob Squad. Wild plays coming in. And it looks like actually it's kind of working out. But ooh, we've got uh, a bit of an issue there. It seems. Uh, yeah, it looks like our Semper fell through <laughs> the floor. Yeah, he went for a dip in the pool. <laughs> Didn't go so good. Went into the deep end. Yeah. Just got to uh, see what happens with that. Hopefully uh, we can sort that out. But um, for now, keep tabs on how this round goes. Two minutes and 35 on the board. It is. He oh, killed himself. Okay, so, so maybe that he could be revived. Hopefully he doesn't get punished for this. There is a player still in the house, but there's no windows on this side. So right. let's see if he's back. Yeah, where are oh. you? Oh, God. Yeah, that's not normal. Ah, that's that's like some horror show sort of deal going on there. This isn't. I don't want American Horror Story when I'm watching games. This isn't yeah, my I'm thing. Here, I'm here for my FPS. Please. But <laughs> three v two, we're gonna move on and pretend it didn't happen. Yeah. But two plays for Mob Squad now make it one. Looking a little worse for wear and an unfortunate round for them. But it could be one man to try and save the day. Yeah, he's over on that west side. I don't think. It's going to be really hard for him to pull this one out. He's going to have to ca tag Toast there and then cross the street, get auto. To be fair, if he gets Toast... There was a player in the house behind Toast. Yeah, yeah he's going to so. have to get two there. But Poopachu, we saw him doing crazy things on this map. He got that 1v4, almost won it out. I don't think you're going to get away with the same sort of thing, but especially I think I heard him being shot at on the cross, so they might have already seen him here, and he might go for the tiniest of peeks towards those windows, see if anyone fancies it. No one's really peeking back for now. Once he makes contact, you know they will kind of converge on this Toast as well, keeping eyes towards it, but they don't seem fully aware of position. You can still see Toast keeping tabs on other angles, so there is potential here for Poopchu to maybe find something and work his way forward if he catches a glimpse of one in those windows. 
And you can see him deliberately moving so that he doesn't peek that window, making sure he stays back in the building, yep. tucked up against those walls, just holding angles that only he can see and is, and is safe in that corner. A lot of teammate trust here because you're trusting Toast is going to hold that angle. And if yep. he sees something, he's going to get that kill. And I guess that's kind of what Nolamite was going for, maybe creeping underneath Toast's nose and grabbing himself a cat. Oh, he peeked the window. There's your punishment, but there's the trade. Instantly comes back in. You can't get them both. Toast was there, and he is where the line stops. But a bit of a frustrating round, I can imagine. Bit of an issue there, but still. Yeah. We are back all even. <laughs> Globochem, really nicely done. They are not a team that rolls over. Uh, no. Curious to see what the ruling is. It looks like we have some crew up on stage. Um, and we'll see. Maybe... By the way, he's trying to get used to... <laughs> That's a, so that's a common strategy to untangle your cord. Sometimes when you spin too much, uh, you get it all twisted up and mm -hmm. kind of catches around your ankles. Do you what worries me when the lights come back on when we're commentating? This feels admin-y. Yes. I feel like admin. the... No. We're running into a bit of a... No. Snag. No. Oh, this... I don't want the momentum to go. This is getting real good. Yeah. Oh, the lights are down. The lights are off. It's okay. It's like when the lights come on in the club, you're like, oh, time to go. <laughs> All right, stay too long. But, uh, yeah, it looks like discussions are being had with the admin team in the back lines there, maybe sorting out a couple of issues. Um, and, again, do not want this happening at this point for these teams. Want to stay focused. That shouldn't be in the back of their minds. It should be just on the game purely. Yeah, it's a good time to discuss as well, obviously, what's going on in the matchup, because both these teams have a lot to be said about how these rounds have been going so far. Yeah, if they can, like the win, the winner of the winning this match, winning this series is very important to these teams. Getting that extra bit of rest is very important to these teams, and to be in the winners bracket, obviously, a huge advantage. Uh, you can actually uh, prepare a little bit more, watch some footage. You get to watch uh, the team compete through the loser bracket. You get more information on how they're going to play in this tournament, and uh, it's it's going to be a tough comeback if you get in that bracket. Yeah, if you go loser bracket, you know, we talk about mental stamina when it comes to other esports games, that if you go through, you know, loser brackets or lo lower brackets, it's incredibly taxing um, because you're always one mistake away from being knocked out, right? That's as simple right. as it is. It's very tough and it's a long day. And when you add in the physical element of this game, yeah, you're here till late, you're going to be playing till late tomorrow. Yeah. You know you are. It's going to be tough. Um, and for now, I did get updates from at least, you know, production as of now, it could change down the line, but um, the round score does stand. That could change. Mm. Um, but for now, that's what we're sticking at, so it's all squared up. But yeah, both teams taking a second to actually discuss whatever is going on in the back lines there. Hopefully, that's not a long problem because I like having my voice. Yeah, you know? me too. And I also like quick action, like this uh, really nice flank from Nolamite snagging Thunder Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Reaction from Landon Jordan there. And overall, a lot of very Personal close rounds. Person. One personal left, yeah. two people left on both sides. Uh, lots of trades coming out. Uh, and it's just, these rounds are all so close. They, they really are. I, I've been kind of impressed with both sides. Um, this was down to what, a 1v1, essentially. That was a trade out that was the first round on the board for Global Camp. <laughs> and uh, we were saying it before, and I've got to say it again. This community is absolutely incredible. They, they, when, they, when you're not playing the games, they're all sat down there watching it. They're all sat down as a big group, just yeah. chilling out, you know, discussing the game that they enjoy. And this is this is one of the reasons I like casting these games, and especially getting to know communities like this, is because you know you play you, you play online with these people. They're, they're your friends, and you get to come here and you meet up, and you just you just have a blast, right? Yeah. And I think it's so good that these teams get to have that experience. And obviously, you're part of it as well. So I mean, <laughs> I, I've got to say the community's been incredible, and it looks like this um, again. Obviously, the main point is the games, and you know, playing competitively and yeah. trying to better yourself in that aspect. But the community side and the friendship side of things is just so cool to see. Uh, it kind of. Uh speaks to the social aspect of VR. It adds yeah. so much more to your relationships with the people that you play games with. Mm -hmm. Because I'm out here high-fiving guys from Mob Squad, high-fiving guys from Global Chem when I see them. You know, uh, I, I'm physically, they're physically represented in front of me. They can give me the bird or whatever <laughs> in the game. So it's kind of fun to have those yep. interactions and then to 
all of a sudden be able to actually touch mm. my friends and see them and it's, give them hugs. It's yeah. been a treat. No, because I, I, honestly, it, it reminds you of the first events I got to go to when I first got to you know, meet the teammates that you'd spend hours with in an evening. Yeah. And sometimes it'd blow your mind. You're like, I thought you were going to be like six <laughs> foot four and you're like five <laughs> foot two. What the hell? You know what I mean? It's one of those yeah. crazy things. And it's just like, it's one of the best feelings in the world to be able to kind of chill in these atmospheres and, and still compete in the game that you really love and you and you want to push forward. And um, I think that's what we're seeing here. And these two teams obviously are incredibly talented at that. So credit to Roju for these guys for not only make it this far, get through to that upper side of the bracket. Yeah. Uh, puts them in a great standing for tomorrow, of course. But as well to just kind of um, do their community proud. It's It's been great games thus far. Yeah. Yeah. I am very happy we're tied up here. I would be very excited to see what happens in the rest of this round, but if we go to cargo, I, I don't know, every, everything. That's up in the air. <laughs> anything like can happen. That's going to come down to pure skill of mm -hmm. the players. And I'll be honest, I think Mob Squad might be favorable. I mean, I like how quiet you're getting <laughs> just because, you know, they've got their headsets off. So you're just like, I think Mob Squad might have it. I don't want to be too loud and pick a side and lose some friendships, but. <laughs> Welcome back to us. Hello. It's cool. Uh, you know, I was enjoying the player shots, not <laughs> I've been here for a number of hour shots. But you know what? I'm down for it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's been uh, pretty good so far, and I'm, I'm wondering how long this is going to take. It does seem as though we might need to head back to the desk at some point, once I get told we can do. Um, once they are ready, they can kind of have a discussion as to what they've seen so far. And uh, saying that, I've summoned the devil himself. We've actually taken him out of the retirement home with oh. Red Eye, his brother, and put him back on the desk. Matt, how are you feeling today? Well, it was going well, and then it was going badly, and then you just put the nail in a coffin. Wow. Wow. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> she's beating herself as well. Oh, of course she We're is. looking at her, and she's like, wee. Okay. Sick burn. Oh, and that was me getting all fanboys, like, oh, I see Lauren's on the show. She was, you were saying such nice things about her earlier as well. Yeah. Such yeah. betrayal. Such betrayal must foul. Damn. The devil? Some <laughs> red eye, my brother. <laughs> Two all! Which, which one of map? those is the worst one? Yeah, 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 two yeah, all, yeah two you know what, we can just swim past that one. Two all in yep. suburbia, and uh, a moment's silence for Lauren's career. And, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I'm a big that. deal in this circuit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will crush you. No. <laughs> You'll never work in this town again, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she works in all the other towns. <laughs> um, what is going on? We're having technical uh, uh, It's resorted to madness uh, here. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks I, for sticking with us. Um, it's good games when we get yeah. there. Oh, yeah. We should, we should uh, I think I think the first thing we could talk about is, you know, that the, the uh, excitement at the end. Of, I think it was game three. It was game three, um, yeah. You know, where we, we had that kind of like harken back to um, a Mob Squad's previous match against Beginners, where yep. there, there, was, there was that moment where it was a, a trade in the final game um, yeah, for yeah, the yeah. final kill, but it was just a split second before, and it went over to uh, Globo Camp. When, when you know, you know, Mob Squad are looking at a 2-0, again, a 3-0 potential lead, yeah. and it comes back to one um, so Pr quite a, a fun moment listen so trades in this you know it's 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 heartbreaking because you don't know which way you, it, it, you can't say one team deserved the trade more than the other you yeah. both the fact they traded means that, you know this is a split second thing yeah. they both yeah. pulled the trigger at the same time how does the game decide is there a dice roll? Does it actually know who pulled the trigger first? Is it like a Han Solo moment? I don't know. The point is... <laughs> it's probably not a dice roll. It's not a dice no, roll. Yeah. Yeah. RNG. Going, everybody, yeah, hang yeah, on a yeah. second. <laughs> roll forward slash roll 100. But yeah. no, the uh, absolutely, you can feel Mob Squad's like anger in a situation like that where they could have been like, well, that could have gone either way. Like yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. we should right now be 3-0. That's not what happened. But equally, they got that opportunity against Beginners and they got that lucky roll. I was so. going to say, it sounds a lot like their match against Beginners. It was you know closer than maybe the score lines appear. Yeah. The way you can look at this situation and is go, okay, well, you know, that's a trade that we didn't win that one, but that's the small margin that we're losing that round. Oh, by. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's As a opposed win. to small margin by winning that round. by. So um, it's it's not... Something to be too disheartened about. Oh, it's, it's one of those kind of oh maybe RNG, but um, you know they're still they're still playing really well and looking like favourites to take this thing. I don't know. It's two two. Right? Yeah, Mob Squad, no. are, Mob Squad are a game up, so you're not wrong. They are still in a domineering position. Yeah. However, two two. Global came scrambling back. Mm. They are doing that though, aren't they? Mob Squad are taking some rounds and starting maps strongly, and, and then Global can do that. They yeah. start scrambling back. I don't want to call this. I, I, I still think <laughs> Globochem are going to take this map. I still think Mob Squad are going to win the third map. I think Globochem have to make this map. Then, yes. Okay. I, still, I think Globochem are going to take this map still. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. 
I think you're going to bring it straight back and, and go go to the first third uh, map of the entire day as well, yeah. which, which is what we, we've been hoping for all day. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe these two can give, it, can give us what, what we want. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just been kind of interesting. We've seen, you know, both both sides playing suburbia very very nicely yeah. uh, you know we've seen you know some system similarities in the way that they approach things and um, you know the, the general um, I guess strategy going forward but it's just about the execution of that um, and I think mob squad did a very very good job again in those first two rounds taking them very very cleanly it, it was you know it was it wasn't like it was a complete roll one way yeah. or the other you know it was very very nice um, but I say nice it was, it was very very nice uh, war did it going on lovely, lovely. lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very very wonderful firefight. they politely murdered yeah, uh, global chem but uh, no but lo again global chem you can't underestimate them they are the top seed and they are showing what they're capable of hmm. mob squad you know, other other teams will crumble. They didn't crumble. They fought back. They've clawed it back two two. Mm. Um, we saw some really close plays in all of the games. Yeah. Uh, um, again, it's weird, a weird kind of swing in that in that third game going the way it did with that nice and nice finale. It kind of gives you know Globo came that momentum, but just to kind of get it all back. You know, get the get the gears churning and the machine running again. Um, you know, to kind of just take the victory they need. The thing is, at this level between these two squads, there's no margin for error. Oh, of course. Every yeah. angle is covered. They, you step out, I mean, the, the, you can see the trades. Uh, there's a millisecond between trades happening constantly. It's one person is taking out the other guy as the other guy sees him. Yeah. Uh, you know, half a second, it'll be over. That's as close as it's going to be. That's uh, These small margins settle things. Maybe we'll see a few more of them. We're back in. There you go. 2 1. Let's go back over to our casters, who I will not name, <laughs> and see who's going to take second map. I've hurt his feelings and I'm sorry, Grandfather. <laughs> Hopefully you'll recover. Oh, we'll get you a nice like warm brandy or something later. Sit you down by the fire. Oh. Perfect. Don't you it actually sounds pleasant to me right wow. now, if I'm completely honest. Um, I'm just gonna not make eye contact when he walks out of the studio. I'm just I think he's in tears right now, if oh, I'm saying it correctly. No. Oh, okay. Well I'll come back to that in a second because we have a bit of a stack towards upper. This is quite fun for a mob squad. <coughs> Yeah, uh, quite dangerous too. There's a little uh, room between the stairs and the top story that you can thread a grenade through. <laughs> if you, it's so incredibly risky because you have to cook it mm -hmm. and then you have to throw it up there just at the right angle to not come back down on your face and kill you. So I expect the frag of that variety coming out from Global Chem. They're pretty good. They're pretty practiced with stuff like that, but they're playing it slow. They have their five-man spread up against these uh, up against these uh, uh, bushes, and they're just going to wait and see if they can get a pick before they try and do anything. they got all the time in the world. Yeah, You've got to cross your T's, dot your I's, and then you can start walking up and, and making your way a little further forward, especially for Global Chem. They can't afford mistakes here. They've um, not particularly had the best of runs, and they are sat, obviously, at a map of disadvantage, so they've got to be very careful. You see Rafael working his way forward here. On the ground we go. You really got to cover that corner consistently. We've seen that being yeah. so, so used. He was what well, it was the play with the shield. He knows that people like to be on this corner. <laughs> Absolutely. And he knows he has to be, uh, it, he might not know he has to be quiet here. If he gets up to that building and starts getting a little loud, they'll be able to hear him through that wall on the other side of it and act accordingly. Uh, and that's why you see that member in, uh, there on the other side of the building. Four minutes and 15 seconds. Probably won't Roughly. see too much for about a minute here. These guys are going <coughs> to position themselves a little bit closer to that center building. And like I said, maybe look for a frag up to that second story and then push with it. Maybe go for a smoke or a flash. There's all sorts of varieties here. Um, and these guys are all very skilled at using all of them. I'm surprised Thunder is getting close to the pool. I figure he might be a little bit afraid <laughs> of that <laughs> after, yes, after uh, last round. And a smoke trying to go over the building there. If you can get it on the other side, you can block our Semper's perspective there from seeing that. Uh, mm. But the objective's inside this middle building, so they need to take it. Thunder putting out some more smokes. They want to completely cut off that south defense. They don't want him to see anything inside this building, and then they're going to make their move. It's a nice idea. I don't mind that at all. Pants. Don't have to. It basically cuts oh, out having to get a pick. Hold up. Sorry, I thought I just saw someone run behind us to the right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pants. Yeah, you can hear the flank. And again, you, they're making these calls that's encouraging them to go faster. I don't think anyone's actually there, but I think he just had that second of doubt, and that's why he just held for a second you saw the response. On, but there's a on, lot of players. Pants could be in trouble here. Look at on that outside window. Peekaboo, and that is problematic. Pants goes down. And already the trades come through. This is actually good for Globo Cam. The nade up top got two right where I was like, right where they needed it. Now they're up in that second story. Raphael's in a place where he can cap right now. He has to get Arsenic down. He doesn't get Arsenic. They're trading Arsenic's down. Raphael 
wins the round. They get the kills. That was huge. The fire they came in with, the power, the pressure. That was massive, and they were able to completely dismantle that building. There were yeah. so many players up there. It's an incredibly risky building to hold. If you stack too many in there, like beginners did the other round, it's just its so dangerous. That grenade up there grabs a couple, and I mean... <sighs> Really nice job. They could have gone for they could have gone for a cap in that situation. Arsenic being inside the building, it would have been a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, it's a dicey one. I mean, <sighs> hindsight is twenty twenty. You can look over <laughs> like, oh, you could have done this. Like, nah, in the moment, I'm terrified. But uh, I'd love to see that on replay to slow it down by half, maybe. Yeah. And we can get it all. I mean, that was very quick. Considering Pants got picked up so early on, I was worried for them. Then I thought, okay, he's been picked up. No trade available. And then yeah. suddenly they fell oh, there. Look at production. That's so fantastic. That's where Pants gets picked. They tried to coordinate. That's, that's the big one as well. They've lost out on two here for Gobo Ken, but look at this push on the way back up. They stop to, st to check the stairs. They grab Squigookin with the trade. They manage another, and then this ridiculous exchange. They pass through each other, rotate around. So aggressive. <laughs> That's what you see on that middle objective, and that's why I like yep. Suburbia so much in these competitive scenes, because you just get ridiculous exchanges like that, and they're so exciting to watch. It absolutely is, and uh, thank you, production. Look at you go. I'll yeah. get you a non-alcoholic beverage later. Absolutely fantastic stuff. The production value of this entire event has been far and above of what I would have yeah. expected, been and uh, cool. I'm very happy with how everything's Ooh, been going. Ooh, have we got some more map drawing going on? Give me a little bit of that. Let me see the map. Just taking a look here. It looks like they got... I love what you can see it kind uh. of over the balcony here. Because we're, we're up on a little bit of a plateau and we can look over. But again, that it looks like western side. Yeah, they're outlining the west. They're going to come up the middle through... Camera uh, map. Just tell it down to the right. Let's see the screen. Let's see the screen. Go on. Go on. Oh, always thinking, always thinking about it. Oh. oh. There it is. And you can see Pants laying out the strategy. They're definitely using it. Going to have one come up the playground area, one flank around west, hold that side. It's really cool to see them using this map effectively and kind of outlining where they're going to be. I guess, that I guess it means that you can keep your comms pretty clean, right? You don't have to be talking about every single thing. You can focus on your role. You can focus yeah. on, okay, this is what I need to do this round. This is where my focus is. Yeah, and uh, it, it adds to the trust behind your teammates. I know he said he's going to hold this angle, so, so I know that yeah. angle is going to be held. I don't mm -hmm. have to think. I don't know where he's going to go defend this round. I'm not sure where he's going to decide what angle he's going to decide to hold. You know for a fact, and you can work a little bit more effectively at the start of a round. Yeah. Well, on the other side, we saw... Mob Squad being great early game. These guys have proven to be incredible. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the man at the back there has been outstanding. The, uh, <laughs> the burgundy pants. And not like, yeah, Nolamite's like been such a wild card. It, it feels like, again, if you have these aggressive players, it's hard to keep them in check. Sometimes they're incredibly efficient and they work well, but you can't do it on a regular basis. Yeah. Nothing you can ever say, all right, every <laughs> single round is going to work. It's a risk you take. And Arsenic's the other player you've got to keep your eyes on. Absolutely. Uh... Oh, it looks like we had a little bit of a bug. Okay. Um. <laughs> so I imagine it'll be coming back out soon. We'll see if uh, they get this one started up quickly or it'll be back out. And yeah, they'll, they'll hopefully start this one back up quickly. It won't be too much of an issue. Yeah. Um, it shouldn't take too long, I can imagine. These guys should be able to kind of set that back up real quick. Hopefully. I see everybody in the lobby, so I don't think yeah. that's an issue. And uh, yeah, ideally we're right back into this game. There's a little nice little feature built in that uh, helps if you run into a bug. Mm -hmm. If you all leave the round at the start, uh, it'll just reset the round. So nice. you don't have to switch teams. You don't have to worry about the score yep. being different. Uh, it's a really nice feature, and it comes in handy when you have moments like this. Yeah, it's it takes a lot of time in other games. There's so many things we've had to implement because of that. Uh, like the uh, round reset in CSGO is, is a real pain because you think about all the money system that comes into it. But again, that's a yeah. really nice feature to have in this that you can just kind of quickly go, all right, jump out. We're good. Let's get back into this. So you can just kind of kick off where you started. You don't lose too much momentum. Right. So that's the real kicker, is it? When you sat there, you're like, all right, got to wait for the admin. Yeah. I got to remake the lobby. It, yep. Put in the password. And I think we are good to go. I'm waiting. I'm waiting a little bit. Don't get me excited. I don't see admin on the floor. Okay, hold on. But We're good. It's go time. There we go. All good already. Globochem sitting at the potential moment to take this into map three. Most people can deny this, but it's yeah. all towards them now. This is looking like it's going to be a long series. We're here for a long time. It's all right. Who needs to sleep? <laughs> we get games. That's all I'm here for. Yes. The power of esports will fuel me. I'm sure of it.
little update as well. Arsenic nine to three. Oh my god. This gosh. guy is going off. It is important. It is a, a, a thing to note that he may not be getting all of those kills mm -hmm. initially. Uh, confirming, it could be the confirmed kill. Yes, confirming a kill gives you yep. that. So maybe he's actually got no kills and he's just like slowly creeping around. Like, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's the uh, the thief. <laughs> he's that guy. He's that guy on your team. And then he'll post the screenshot later. Like, look what? Oh, Nolamite. Not again. Not getting away with it now. They've had yeah. enough of this player. And Ooh. this could be an issue. You make one sound, you know your dead pants is on the other side of this, just waiting for the moment to pounce. Squigs, quiet he enough. No, you just heard the nade come out now. The pin getting pulled. Oh, pants. Up and over we go. Nice quick kill from him. Ducks back down. Just avoiding that grenade that got thrown out. Uh -oh. Spams out his own. I think that one kind of popped out right in front mm -hmm. of him. Three players now standing for Mob Squad. This looks like maybe Globo can have an advantage to play off the back with here. Look and see what Mob Squad can do, though. But split throughout the map, we do have two players on the eastern side, one a little bit more central still. For that yeah. western, uh, sorry, excuse me, eastern side is getting pressure. He's working his way up that road. If they can get that west, I don't really know why you want that west side though. It doesn't add a whole lot to this objective in particular. You need to get you, the only way you can cap that objective is to get up those stairs and get yep. inside that second story. You can't cap it bottom floor can't cap it behind any... Well, there are some walls second story, but... Maybe they're looking for the picks in the backside south. They're not going to use the smoke strategy that we saw coming out from uh, uh, Mob Squad. And I imagine Semper is going to keep away from the pool. Yeah, wide take on that. <laughs> not having any of that one. And a 4v3 is not insurmountable. It's... Uh, it's doable in these. If you trade well, if you trade effectively, you're right back into it. And especially since they have a guy south, if they manage to quickly take control of this central building, again, we could be looking at a diffuse situation where mm -hmm. they're going to be inside capping the objective and no way for this member, this toast that's in the far south to get up there and, and defend. Still got plenty of time to work with as well. They, they've got so much room to create opportunity yeah. if they get that one clean pick. Pants' hands are very curious right now. Or at least the angle with the gun up in the air. Now, Arsenic could get a clean shot towards this. But obviously he doesn't know this. He has no idea. And he's trying to be safe here in approach. Got some waggling clips there. <laughs> That's, I was like, what's that noise? <laughs> Arsenic, of course, no idea of this. You are drilled in. You see what your player sees. You, you can, there's no third person. There's nothing like that. And I don't know how he's alive here. I'm wondering, is Pants actually upstairs? No, it's upstairs? Uh, Yes, he is. Uh, taking a look, he's up the stairs, tucked in the corner. Okay, so it's it's a bit of a, a bug from our perspective, at least. Right. That, that makes way more sense, because I was kind of curious on that one. But it is now worrying. 4v3 still, 2 minutes 25. Yeah, Arsenic sending out some suppressive fire. He knows Toast back there on that south. And here come the smokes. You can use these smokes to actually also uh, put up an audio distraction. Uh, use it so you can sprint, you can move a little bit quicker. Yeah, that we... Uh, building. If you ever played your kind of armor, PUBG, those sort of games, top tier teams have been starting to toy with that idea now because yeah. it can really cover movement and sound. And obviously, Vision 2, two minutes now remain. One is picked up, Mob Squad down to two now. This becomes a problem. Arsenic and Pupachu feeling a little alone here. And that building is under wraps. This could be Globo Chem pushing it to that third map, unless Mob Squad can do something incredible now. Mob Squad gets one, charging up the stairs, tags wrap. Doesn't get into the corner. Arsenic's still alive. He can still get upside there and get pants. And if he gets pants, this is over. Toast needs to rotate and get to that central building. Where is, is Toast right now? Way south. He's still covering that far east side where they caused up the distraction earlier. That's worrying. That's not trade potential. But again, Arsenic doesn't know this. He could try and work around a different angle. But again, surely you'd go in the way your teammate did and they got pretty okay. Oh, this is so problematic. Let's have a look from the perspective of Mob Squad. Let's stick with them. Because I don't know if Toast can actually see him at this point. He's still checking the back lines, but... Snick's working his way forward. This guy's been huge for his side as well. He's had a big performance. But his way around, you can see Toast will be in the back lines there. And he might be predicting this. He might be theory crafting this himself. But will he get the spot? Will I don't see him in time. Toast is going to have to peek up over the shrubs. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he's willing to do that. He seems very, uh, very bent, hell bent on yep. staying crouched behind this and just peeking it like he is. It might not work out. They have 45 seconds left, so Arsenic's going to have to make a move soon up these stairs. He's behind the building. 
And Pants calling him out. Pants giving up his position there. He'd rather get the information across to Toast, who's now looking inside. You can see tucked down here, Arsenic finding the smallest of angles. He might be able to see these stairs. Pants is up there waiting. 24 seconds. Arsenic needs to get a move on now, and it's time to go. Pants, can he stop it before it starts? He does indeed, and it's Globochem to lock it down. We are going to a third map. Really nice job from Globochem. We're going to our first third of the night, our last of the night. Globochem. <laughs> Yeah, it's a long night. I'm down for this, so that was a Absolutely. great Absolutely. I'm, I'm more than happy. And you said the final map, it's up in the air. It's anyone's game, and we get to see it. Yeah, we're going to see some excellent, competitive, pure skill-based play come out on Cargo. They're going to... You're going to see who's the better shot, who can fire faster. Is it Pants? Is it is it Arsenic? That's a battle I want to see. They're yeah. two big players that I think have been really turning up, and I think yeah. that is a huge showdown we're about to witness. Yeah, absolutely. It's been so much fun watching these guys battle it out, and uh, the games are definitely living up to the hype. And Globo showing they do not give up. They are not going to let themselves get, get, get swept. Uh, I, Really what great series. So a matchup, right? We're going to take a second to get our breath, let the players take a second to ready themselves because it's been a slog so far. And I know the desk will still have so much to say even after just a couple more rounds since we last saw them. Yeah, two more rounds in the books and a win for Globochem takes us to map three as we hoped it would. Mm. It feels like a very long time ago that we hoped it would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to say, called it. Yeah, you did. Called you did. It. I said. I said two zero. You said. You said. You said three. I told oh, yeah, you. So I, yeah, I called it. that it would go to three maps. Is that what you we're, did. That, that's no, what no, we're no, claiming no, our no, little no, small no, no. victories here. <laughs> you, yes, absolutely. I Every, always said I wanted three maps, and I thought we'd get them. Yep. And we finally uh, did. Yeah. It, it, it was a really exciting last two rounds, though. I think. Oh, yeah. um, I mean, especially from you know Globo came you know uh, you know War Mob Squad so close to getting what they wanted. You know, we saw uh, yeah, at least when we were looking down onto, onto the ground as well the the physicality of of Arsenic. Um, you know, kind of like keeping as low as possible to turn the and kind of trying to get the angle he needed for that final game um, win. We can just see these are the earlier rounds kind of going on when Mob Squad took their 2-0 lead, and we'll see a little bit later on how it goes. This is the uh, the uh, again the uh, trade that did go in the favor of Glo Globochem, and that was their fight back. I yeah. hope we see the Globochem clear of the mid building. It was so aggressive. They, they, uh, two of them charged up. They had three uh, Mob Squad defenders in there, and Globo managed to clear it out. And uh, uh, this, this included a counter attack that came up the stairs behind them. So they they had the, the, the eyes, the heads on us. Well, here it is, actually. I think we're going to see it now. Yeah. yeah. So that was when Squigukin got a fantastic pick there, and then they all decided just to pop up. It was a uh, hello there, sir. Down he goes. And then from that point, there was a huge rush. All right. So there's one attacker down. All right. They're, they're not giving up. But here it comes. Breach and clear. Two guys up. Counter attack we didn't see, but Squigukin runs in behind, take, gets taken down. We have the, the dance around, Raphael getting the kill here, and that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, round one. So yeah, this was uh, yeah in this final game now. There was a, a nice lead early for Globochem, and then obviously Mob Squad going down, 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 down to two. They got one KO here, and then managed to get down. Uh, you know, this is the point here of course I was, I was talking about where Arsenic managed to keep himself so low, almost got that KO, and that would have been huge because Toast was waiting, and he all he had to do was pop out that. Said that that terminal get the codes yeah. in, it would have been a, a game over. Absolutely, much. Toast was not in a position where he potentially would have been able to make it in yeah. time to stop the cap. But I think Pants' defense of that moment was just strong enough that that was all all it took. But it was incredible to see that you know Mob, Mob Squad took that 2-0 lead nice and early and were you know strong in that regard. And then immediately Global came to this event. We got one game back from that yeah. very very clutch. You know, I say clutch. Uh, you know, just winning out that trade. I guess you could say it's clutch uh, in that trade by about ha half a second, and then that was enough. That was enough traction to keep them going and, and win that map entirely. But Globoch is showing so much emotion with each one of those mm. victories. The hard fought victory, that, that trade, they, you could have thought they'd won the entire thing. They were celebrating so yeah. much from that trade they won and then just winning that map then, just the emotions and yeah. punching, all of them punching the air, high-fiving each other. Yeah, Raphael, yeah. Absolutely. you know, feeling a bit more, uh, a bit, a bit, probably a bit better now that there's the focus is off his... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think having that hang over his head and to know that it went so well because um, after that or since that, I think it's very, very important. As well as that, I think um, 
not just, you know, the fact they brought the map back, but the situation on that last game, again, it was just like, like they had before, the two, three, uh, you know, difference and, you know, the two points being available for the player, for the team on, on, on two points. So it's literally, it could have been the map for either team. So to be, for Toast to get, well, not, not Toast, rather, Pants to get the KO and end that, when if he had lost, it would have been a completely different yeah. result. Two maps in a row. Yeah. Could have gone either way, both of them. Yeah. So it's going to be a really tight contest on Cargo to settle it. Remember, this is a double elimination tournament. So whoever loses this just fights their way back through um, a loser's bracket final tomorrow, deciding bracket final tomorrow. And, uh, and then we could be having a rematch of this as our grand final. That's how the bracket will work out. Uh, if you're not too clear on that, don't worry. We'll just have another match of this very, very soon. Don't <laughs> go anywhere. Uh, everything seems to be working. So we'll stick with that. We'll have a short break and then we'll come back and we'll go to Cargo and we'll find out who our first grand finalist will be at the Onward Invitational.